What's up guys, it is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add subtitles to your own YouTube videos. If you guys do enjoy the video or you find the video helpful, make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy and I will see you guys on my PC. Alright guys, so I just opened DaVinci Resolve and all we got to do is just start a new project. So for me, I'm just going to title it Subtitles. I'm going to go to Create. And then once I'm actually in the software, I'm going to go to the Edit tab, go to File, go to Settings, and then change it to 60 FPS and then press Save. All we got to do from there is find our footage so for me I'm just gonna go over to like documents or something like that I'll find some random footage and then I won't change the frame rate and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select a random portion right here and I'm going to go over to titles I'm gonna drag over a text box right here and then we're gonna just do it whatever so I'm gonna do something like what's up guys or something along the lines of that and something like this and then what we can do from there is we can change the font um i'm gonna have a font website linked in the description it's super easy you can download any font from it for 100 free and then you just install it on your pc it will show up in davinci resolve so i'm gonna do a color something like blue or something that'll stick out like red and then what i'll do from there is i will add a drop shadow i'll change the offset a bit make it down like this and then i'll change the opacity a bit more and then i'll add something like a white stroke just like this which actually kind of puts a border around it and we can see that looks like a pretty cool subtitle and then all we got to do from here is just kind of change the positioning to wherever we want it so we can make it a bit bigger if we want or if you want to you can just directly do this in the font size thing so something like that all we got to do from there is make it into a compound clip just like this and then we're going to go into the fusion tab so the fusion tab is actually going to allow for us to move this what's up guys itself this little subtitle so i'm going to press Control space on my keyboard to bring up this menu and we're going to look up for a transform node right here add it in and then while dragging it we're going to press shift on our keyboard to actually connect it or what we can do is we can just directly connect the arrows like so. From there, what we can do is if this is the beginning of the clip and we want an animation where the what's up guys comes from below and pops up, we're gonna keyframe the center and we're going to change it to somewhere down here so it's out of sight. And then we'll go something like 25 frames out and we'll actually change it to zero, or not 0 0.5, sorry, which is the natural position. And then what we'll do is we'll come something like, I don't know, 75, to 75 frames so like 50 frames after something like that keyframe it again at this value and then go to the very end and change it to whatever value is down below so something like this so we can see that if we come back here we can see it goes what's up guys and then it goes away and that looks super corny i mean it looks like someone something that like a third grader could do so all we're going to do is we're going to go into transform we're going to go to the spline right here we're going to press this button here which allows us to see the values and then you're going to want to press Control a and then press s on your keyboard and you're going to want to follow along with what i do right here you're going to bring this one down kind of bring it across and then you're going to do the same thing with this one but don't make it too sharp and then you're going to do the exact same thing here but you want kind of a sharper out point so we're gonna just gonna drag that along like that and that should do something like this and it's super clean it's a lot cleaner than just the linear up down animation but if you guys did learn something new and you want to support the channel make sure to drop a sub it is 100 percent free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date uh, but yeah with that being said i hope you guys do enjoy leave some uh, future video ideas down in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later peace out